Have you ever finished a document and been really pleased with the way it all looks and then just before you print it or send it to someone you realize that it flows onto a second page and there's nothing on that next page and try as you might no matter how many times you press delete or backspace that page is not disappearing in this video I'm going to show you four quick simple ways to get rid of that deadly last blank page. Hello, it can be really irritating when you've just finished creating a document, you've got everything just perfect, and then you scroll to the bottom and find you have an extra page, a blank page, with nothing on it at all. And you go to get rid of it, and you can't. Microsoft Word just will not allow you to get rid of that last page. You can try hitting backspace, you can try hitting delete, you can click on the previous page right at the end of it uh, and hit delete for all you like. You can try and highlight between the two pages and do backspace or delete. It's no good. Nothing seems to get rid of that last blank page. What I'm going to do is show you four very quick, very simple and easy tricks that you can do which will help you get rid of that last page. You'll generally only ever need one of them, but which one you choose will in some cases depend upon the formatting of your document. So you might want to try one, see what it ends up looking like, and if you don't like it, try another. So let's move straight away on to uh, technique one. Uh, technique one is to change the amount of space, the top or the bottom of the page in your document. Very easy to do this. Uh, we'll use the ruler, which at the moment does not appear anywhere on the screen. So what we'll need to do is click on the view tab at the top of the ribbon and then click ruler. That brings up the ruler along the top and on the left hand side. And what we need to do is just find the um, split between the, the shaded area at the bottom and the white section. The white section is, of course, where the content of your document will go. The shaded area is the footer section at the bottom of your page. We can reduce the height of that footer section, which will um, slightly pull your document down and should get rid of this bottom page uh, underneath. If I put my mouse just on the split between the shaded area and the white area on the ruler on the left hand side, you can see the mouse pointer changes to a double headed um, white arrow there. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag down slightly and then bingo, there we are, just suddenly pop. The border at the bottom has now been reduced. We can't really see any difference between this document and how it looked just before except that now we've got rid of that extra blank page at the bottom. I'm just going to undo that so I can show you a second technique. So whilst we can change the height uh, of the space available at either the top or the bottom of our document, getting rid of that blank page, we can do a similar thing by changing the margins on the left and the right hand sides. Now here you can use the ruler at the top. Problem is it's quite tricky, especially on the left hand side with all these uh, tab widgets and everything here. Uh, so what I would tend to suggest, especially so that you can keep things symmetrical, is to go to page layout at the top of the ribbon and then head, head over to the left where it says margins and choose custom margins at the bottom. Now what we can do, you can change the heading at the top and the bottom. Uh, you can see it's 2.54 top and bottom at the moment. What I'm going to do is change the left and right margins. Uh, I'm going to change that down to say 2.1. So I'm taking off 0.4 of a centimetre on the width. Uh, and by changing the left and right margins slightly and clicking OK, there we are. Um, Again, you may not even notice that there's much of a difference. Uh, 0.4 a centimetre isn't a huge amount, but it's less than half a centimetre um, added to the side. You can't really see that. Uh, but what you can see is that we now have only one page. We do not have that extra blank page at the end. I'm just going to undo that again, uh, just so I can show you the next two methods. So you have there the ability to get rid of that blank page by changing the top or the bottom margins, the left and right margins, keeping it symmetrical. 
Now the next thing to do is to look at paragraph spacing. You'll notice that every paragraph has a space above and below it. By slightly reducing that paragraph spacing, it won't make a lot of difference to the way the document looks, but you will just pull it all up slightly so you get rid of this extra page at the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is uh, triple click inside this paragraph. Um, if you're not sure, a triple click, obviously three rapid mouse clicks, will select a whole paragraph. So a single click just puts the mouse uh, the text cursor there. A double click will select the word that you're on, and a triple click will select a whole paragraph. So I'm going to select that paragraph. Um, I don't want to select this uh, table or the image, so what I'm going to do is hold down the control button, and I'm going to triple click in these paragraphs as well. And then with control down, just deselect that image. Now if your document is just text, well, just simply highlight all the text. If you don't um, don't want to worry about changing paragraph spacing within tables or around images, then again, just select everything. Um, I'm just keeping things really neat and simple by just making a change to the text and only the text within this document to show you how simple this is. So I've selected the text. Let's go to the home um, section of the ribbon at the top. And when you select home, come along to the paragraph section here. And what I would do is click on the little button at the bottom right corner to go to settings. And here we can see uh, this is the bit here, the spacing. At the moment, it's set to auto. Uh, I'm using size 12 font. You can see up here, size 12. So auto will probably mean that I've got size 12 uh, as the spacing before and after a paragraph. I'm going to click on the up arrow here. Um, and change that to 9. So I'm bringing the spacing of the paragraph, the height of the gap between each paragraph, down from 12 point to 9 point. And then I click OK, and there you are. I've now got rid of that uh, page at the bottom. You can still see that my paragraphs have a space above and below. Um, you can see that the text doesn't look terribly different from the previous one. Um, so there we are, we, we've now got rid of that extra page a third different way. Let's just undo that again. And now let's look at the final method, the fourth method, which will help to uh, reduce your uh, documents down a page. Uh, again, if we, I'm just going to highlight everything now. So uh, you could just simply click and drag to highlight everything. But Control A is the keyboard shortcut, which will select everything. And what I'm going to do now is to reduce the font down uh, by half a point. But the problem is we've got two, at least two, different font sizes here. We've got the title here. Possibly we might have a different font size uh, for the tables. So what happens, how can you reduce the font size of everything proportionately? Well, if we do control A and then I hold the control button down, so I'm holding control down, and then what I'm looking for are the square brackets, not the round ones at the top of the uh, number pad, uh, sorry, the top of the, uh, the numbers along the top of your keyboard, but the square brackets which are just to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. So if you find the letter P, uh, P for Papa, find that on your keyboard and right on the right hand side of that will be the square brackets. If you hold control down and you press the left square bracket the font size will reduce. If you press the right square bracket the font size will increase and that's for the whole document regardless of what size font is uh, with, used within each section of your document. So you'll notice that if I press the left square bracket, all of the text, including the title text, the paragraph text, the text in my tables, everything is reduced uh, by half a point to a point. So you've still got the same basic proportions. The paragraph spacing is still the same. But now we've reduced the height of our document so that we have got rid of that blank page at the bottom. So um, you'll see that we've got quite a lot of extra space at the bottom. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just undo that 
and all I'm going to do now this time is select the paragraphs of text. I'm not going to select the title, the image or the table um, and then rather than using the control and the square bracket I'm going to go right up here where you've got the size of the font and I'm going to start by just typing in 11.5. Um, maybe people don't realize you can have half a point. So 11.5, press enter. No, we haven't quite got that, so let's try 11 then. And there we are, we're down to 11 points on that. Uh, we've not had to reduce the size of the title. Uh, we haven't had to reduce the size of the table. In fact, we may even find that we can increase the size of the text in the table quite a bit now. So there we are, four quick and simple ways of changing uh, the formatting of your document very subtly so that you can either reduce its overall length if you've just gone over onto another page and you don't want to have just a paragraph of writing at the top of the final page or if you've got a page that is stubbornly refusing to disappear despite having nothing on it four different quick and simple ways that you can uh, reduce that so top and bottom borders left and right margins paragraph spacing and font size I hope you found this useful. If you did, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.